The Rail Accident Investigation Branch is the UK's independent investigator of accidents. Our objective is to improve railway safety and inform the industry and the public. On the morning of the 9th of November 2016, tram number 2551 was travelling towards the centre of Croydon. It was dark outside and raining heavily. After Lloyd Park tram stop, tram 2551 reached the maximum permitted speed of 80 km per hour as it entered the first of three closely spaced tunnels, which together extended for about 500 metres. When leaving the tunnels, the tram should have been reducing speed significantly as it was approaching a 20 km per hour limit. This was marked by a speed limit sign at the start of the sharp curve into Sandyland's junction. On the 9th of November, however, the tram was travelling at 73 km per hour when it reached this sign. The Rail Accident Investigation Branch has concluded that this was because the driver lost his awareness. The excessive speed caused the tram to overturn as it passed through the curve. Passengers were thrown around inside the tram. The tram then stood along the ground on its side. Of the 69 passengers involved in this tragic accident, 7 died and 61 were injured, 19 seriously. The RAIB immediately sent inspectors to Croydon to gather evidence. As part of our detailed investigation, we obtained data from the tram's onboard recorder and the tramway signalling system, conducted tests on the tram's safety systems and used computer modelling to understand the minimum speed that would overturn a tram on the curve at Sandylands. We also reviewed the design of the infrastructure and the tramway safety and risk management systems. Our investigation found that there was inadequate signage to remind drivers when to start braking or to warn that they were approaching the sharp curve. There was no mechanism to monitor driver alertness or to automatically apply the brakes when the tram was travelling too fast. We tested the tram's windows and doors which broke as the tram turned onto its side, as seen here. Many of the passengers were seriously injured or died because they fell through the broken windows and doors which were not designed to keep them inside the tram during accidents. We have made 15 recommendations intended to improve safety. Some of these relate to technology, such as automatic braking and systems to monitor driver alertness. Some are about better understanding the risk associated with tramway operations, particularly when, as at Sandylands, the tramway is not on a road. We are recommending that the tramway industry should find ways of reducing injuries in the case of serious accidents by improving the strength of doors and windows. We have recommended that the Office of Rail and Road reviews the way that it regulates tramways. We have also recommended the establishment of a dedicated safety body for UK tramways.